Just gonna throw a flat disc. It's about a pound of clay or so. This is just a way of making a slab, but it's, I can make it on the wheel like this and it has all the texture and language of throwing. Now what I'm gonna do here is, this is just another texturing technique. I'm just gonna cut this veneer off of here. It's just an aesthetic thing. It's just a way to make more pattern and, and variation on the form here. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is apply this spout on here. I'm just gonna cut this off. Pick this up. So now I can put this back on the wheel. And what I'm gonna do with this here is is just fold this up here. Okay, so this has to happen when the spout's wet like this. It doesn't work if it dries too much. So I'm just going to fold this over. And the, this form always, it always, is always a real awkward moment with this pot. It always kind of feels like the, the duck-billed platypus kind of dorky, dorky thing of the century here, but it gets better. So I can make sure that's lined up right. That's pretty close. Okay, and then I can just fold that on there like this and fold that down. And now I can shape it, okay? So now I'm kind of back to, now I just need to form a spout. So I got that apl applied on there and I use plenty of water here. And now I can just start shaping this out here. And again, I talked about the um, pots from history that have influenced this pot, the Minoan pitchers, and I think the pots from Cyprus was where I saw the most dramatic forms that way, where they were, you know, they're very, they really have a feel of a bird. They feel like they potters were watching birds, you can just tell. They have this long spout for delivering the liquid. I like that. So then we get that on there like that, and this is reasonably well lined up. Okay. And then this back end, sometimes what I'll do is I'll just crimp this again, just to give this a little bit more, a little bit more action. Something like that, just a plate. Okay, so that gets that gets applied on there like that. And then at this point, what I'm gonna do is carefully take this form off. I put it on and shape it, and then I'm gonna map this out where it sits. I'm gonna just carefully pop this thing right off of here. Because it's just perched on there kind of precariously. I'm going to just set this off to the side. I'm going to cut this. And I'm going to give myself about a quarter inch seam allowance. I love that for you seamstress people out there, seam sewers. Go with a quarter inch seam allowance. Definitely score at this point because this is, I want to make sure that there's a good bond here. These go together. Okay. Now with this form, at this point, I've got this wet spout, and I've carefully got it perched in my hand, but I'm gonna also take a chunk of this material out, because it's extra weight. You don't need it in there. Pictures are you always want to reduce the weight if you can. Okay, so we end up with something like that. And now this is going to fit right back onto the pot. Okay. Spout's pretty wet, so I'm not worried about 
scoring it, attaching that, because it's going to be just fine. Okay. okay. Secure those corners right there. I like to use the butt end of a, of a fettling tool because there's a little bit of flexibility in the, the knife here. And it's a, so I can reach in and use this for just getting that initial attachment here. <laughs> 